The Indian High Commission in London and the UK Border Agency say that establishing the true identity of these men can be complex. And the time it takes to issue emergency travel documentation varies case by case. But UK Home Office figures reveal that voluntary departures by illegal immigrants from the UK to all countries have risen steadily over the past six years, from 335 in 2005 to nearly 13,000 in 2011. Half of them were Indian nationals. Welcome to Buta Singh's bathroom in a cemetery. He's been stuck in the system for three years. <coughs> in better times, he earned hundreds of dollars a week as a plumbing engineer. Now, he says he has nothing to stay or leave for. They've got a photocopy of my passport. Anyway, what will I do if I go back? Everything's finished. I'm not married. My brothers have shared out the land between themselves and my parents are dead. Life on the streets is taking its toll. He's even considered suicide. I would rather God took me. Then I'd be okay. Nobody listens to me. I ask them to give me a room and some money to live, but they say no. Buta told me he hopes his story will act as a warning to those hoping to become a foji. He hopes some good can come from his miserable existence. So, back in Delhi, we're taking his message to the people who need it most. Sukha, Jagger and Billa are on standby to be trafficked to Britain. They're about to see the reality of life as a foji there. What I'm about to show you is the area where you will probably end up living. As they watch the footage, the risk they are taking dawns on them. Well, you have to take a bit of a risk. We have to do it and stay together. We have to do it, so what? It doesn't matter. We need the money, OK? Does it worry you that you are paying £10,000 to traffickers and agents to take you to Britain to end up living somewhere very similar to where you are staying now. If this is true, then I'm thinking we'll be stuck in this situation if we go there. Now, that accommodation is, is among the best accommodation for illegal immigrants from India. Many have lost work, they, they've got no money, they cannot afford a shed with a bed, and so they are now living on the streets. I'm not going. They look in a really bad state. That's enough. Don't show us any more. It'll only make us feel worse. Did your agent warn you that this is a possibility? If you don't find work, you could live, end up living on the streets? We're going to talk to him to say we want our money back. He's not going to give it to us. We're going to have to fight with him to get it back. <laughs> For Bhuta Singh and thousands of others, it's too late. He has never revealed the true extent of his downfall to his family. Now he wants all families in his village to know. His brothers and sister-in-laws haven't seen him for 17 years. The family have agreed to meet me, knowing I have some news about Bhuta. One of his brothers is working illegally in Italy. I'm welcomed by his older brother, Mugger, and Bhuta's nephews, Sandeep and Gurula. These well. old photos are the only insight they have had into Bhuta's life as a foji. They tell me he repaid the loan that funded his journey while working in Germany, then Holland. In the UK, nobody earned as much as Bhuta, his brother tells me. And the villagers called him a hero. The legacy of Bhuta's hard work two family homes built with his hard-earned cash. On the roof, the traditional tribute to the vehicle that took Bhuta to Britain. Both houses are incomplete. Four years ago, 
the money stopped coming. A clear sign that Buta was struggling. But until now, they had no idea just how bad it had become. <coughs> What makes me so sad is that he's suffering so much hardship. What's the point of living if life is like that? If he's living that kind of life, it's better that he came home. At least if he comes here, he'll be able to eat well. He has a room to sleep in. He'll get everything he needs. I'm so upset that he sleeps under a bridge and hangs around in a cemetery. What's the point of his life? It would be better if he came back home to his family. We'll find all his ID documents and fax them. Buta's brother asks me to show the footage to other mothers from the village and their children. So he sleeps here in his bed? who could easily become the next generation of India's Fogies.